Hey there! Today I'd like to invite you to practice some Norwegian with me. And I have to admit I skipped a few units and went straight to unit number seven. And I thought I'd look at the pronouns today. There are two different sets of pronouns. Ones are for the subject of a phrase and the others for the object. So, subject is usually what you would find at the start of a phrase and the object would be behind the verb. In Norwegian, just like in German, I think, you can switch these around. In English, it's usually a bit easier. The subject would always be, or most of the time, would be in front of the verb. Then we also have to differentiate between singular, which would be the first three here, and plural. So let's mark these. This would be singular. And the one at the bottom would be plural. And we also have to differentiate according to the article. So the uh, gender of the noun. There are three lines here, one for words with N, one for words with I or N, and one for words with it. I'm taking the easy route. Um, I know that I, so the feminine gender, can be replaced with N, with the masculine gender. So I, I try to um, sort of passively note which words run with I, but actively I'm just, you know, taking it easy, I'm using the masculine gender. It words are definitely something you do have to remember. And then for the plural, all genders are the same. There's always just one form for the subject and one for the object. So, let's see. Let's start with the singular and the masculine nouns in. For the subject, our pronoun would be den, the, e, n. And it's the same for the object, the, e, n. So, that is easy to remember, same form. For I, for the feminine gender, it's the same thing, then and then. For it, the neutron, we would add a T at the end, instead of the end. So again, I think this is not too hard. Subject and object are the same, and the ending corresponds with the ending of the article. Our exception is here in the plural. The subject would be the, or I think it's pronounced the, but then the I. So we don't have an extra ending. But for the object, we would have them with an M. But uh, this is quite similar to English, them, which would also be the object. So um, it's quite familiar. And of course, it's always good if you can make these kinds of connections when you're learning a language. All right. Let's try an exercise. So let's switch these two books around. 
We are here, unit 7 Here's the exercise I'd like to try, the first one Put in the correct pronoun We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 phrases and I think these are all for the subject that we're replacing But let's see Okay, the first one's already filled in It says, Welkom nach der Tefrat That's where does the tent come from? De komme from Sverige It's from Sweden with a T because Delta also ends with a T. Delta. Where come Per or Kari from? Where are Per and Kari from? So here we have the plural. And we say the come from Kirkenes. So we have Per or Kari, two people Plural And you say they, which is in front of the verb So we're in this part here, looking at the subject Be Die komme Frau Kirkenes Then we ask, woher für Korte? Where's the uh, driver's license? We see here it ends with a T So we say, T with a T Likeri Bielen It's in the car Wa kostet Jacke? How much is the uh, I think that's a jacket So it ends with an A Meaning this is feminine So here in the middle We could use I or N Like I said I usually look at this part here But it doesn't really make a difference In terms of the pronoun It's D-E-N Den koster uh, ni kroner I hope the number's correct <laughs> Wo sit der mannen? Where does the man sit? So we have e n Same form d e n Den sit der på café Oh, actually now I'm wondering because it says here, this is pronouns for um, things, for objects, Gegenstände But here we're talking about a person So actually I think I wouldn't say then, I would say He is sitting in the cafe Not it or that is sitting in a cafe so, han sitter på café It might have been explained in a previous chapter that I skipped <laughs> But that's okay Och var är jordbären ifrån? Where are the strawberries from? So here we are in the plural they are from Norway They are from Norway Then seven we have What sier damen? Uh, sier I think is to say So what does the lady say? So here we have the same thing Here we have a man and here we have a, a woman So we probably wouldn't write din but we would write 
Mm, see at the ik coster mia. She says that uh, it doesn't cost much. And then we have Borlika Portamonin. That would be the Liker Store. Okay, so here we're back to the ending with EN in the singular. So this is what we add to the end of the word. Okay, let's see if that was correct. sentence is where we said we have ferro cari, so two people, D. So D, E, that's correct. Then we have the driver's license, ferro corte, D, E, T. Also correct. Then we have jacca, with an A at the end which works just like the masculine nouns with E-N Then Okay, so here we have the sentence where I wasn't sure initially Was it your man and the man? And indeed it is Han He Number six, we have the strawberries. Your perne, the plural. Die Frenorge. Damen, singular. Hun. She. And finally, en translates to the same ending in the pronoun. D E N Lickeristor. Okay. So that was the first exercise. And you might have noticed that we only stayed here in this part with the subject that is placed before the verb. But let's try another exercise. I had a quick look earlier and I think this one's mixed so we're probably going to need both of these. So we start off again with a filled out phrase. Wo finde ich eine Kasse? Die finde ich den Weg ausgegangen. You'll find it near the exit. And here we see we have du, you, in front of the verb finde, you find it. Yeah, so the pronoun comes after the verb. Meaning, we're looking at the object. So, one, two, three, four. These four pronouns is what we need. The er til bud polon melik teridak. Can you force it po? I'm not sure about that. Not sure what tilput means. 
Lomme liegt der Schutt bei dir verschleit. Was sagt der Abend noch weg? A lot of grammar. Okay. So I think it should be over here. T. T. I. Die Boot ist ein Offer. So, I think it means is there an offer on the flashlight? Or there is an offer on the flashlight today? Can you fall Okay, I'm not sure I understand this sentence, but... I'm just going to go with them. I'm guessing it's the flashlights with an R at the end, so plural. I think the person is asking whether they can see the flashlights. Okay, I'm guessing here. Let's move on to the next. Unschild. Wir finden wie Bakterien. Der Finder. Can we hear we have a ET? So that's what we add at the end of the pronoun. Der Finder de Backkasse. You find them behind the cash desk. So we hear object. The ET. Yes, I'm going to have Boller. Let's see what that is. Something to eat. Mm. I once had Swedish um, cinnamon buns. I think they're called Kanneboller or something similar. So it could be something like that, like a little. Here we have a board. Busaman, bubli bukandal, bolig bolle. Yes, sweet type of bread. All right. So, bolle, the R at the end means we're in plural. We need the object, so. Sir du dem de porte me longa cane o bolde. So there over there between the cakes and the bread. Un gild ya letter et der frise, frise disken. We have en at the end. And here we are in front of the verb. So we have to look at the subject. Den store back your diskan. In this case, it doesn't make a difference. It would be den or den. Either way. Unschild, ja leder at der flöten. Wo finner jai? Den. Oh, sorry. This is singular, so. Here we are behind the uh, verb, so we have to look at the object. Der tilbud på rucksacker og ligger det. So can we have the offer? Just on the backpack, so an offer. Where are they placed? Er meaning plural. Du finner dem til venstre for ingangen. So on the left of the uh, entry. 
Jälleen te olette mel. Mel. Oh, I just thought it's honey, but it's not. <laughs> I was thinking in French with miel. in German. Mehl is Mehl in German, so flower. I am looking for the flower that is probably singular. Meaning den winner to the pot. These ones are also correct. Let's see. So the first one has already been filled in. The second one we had the flashlights lonelicter. Konya for support them with EM. Number three, we're looking for Fakere Dere. Finner D. T-E-T Bakkasa Eskola Boller Serdu Dem Debote Number five Here we are with the subject of the phrase Dem Stor Bakjotiskan Number six, we're back uh, looking at an object. Or finna jai den. Number seven, we have the offer on the backpack. So exactly. Du finner dem til venstre. And then we're looking for flower. And flower is a neutron, T E T, not T E N. So, almost correct. I think that wasn't too bad. can see there's not too much grammar here in this unit. There's pronouns, there's countable and uncountable things, some prepositions, and here's the adjective which, if you've seen some of my earlier videos, you know that I've already done this before in a different book. But it's about time I do some revisions. I think that's going to be our topic for next time though. Let's take it slow, one at a time. So for today, I'd like to say thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you again next time.